watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a good friend here in studio. I have the president of the Rotary Club of Brockton and uh, all-around good guy, Brent Warren. Good to see you. Thank you. Appreciate it. So we got a big pancake breakfast coming up, and we have a new location this year. Very excited about it. We are doing the pancake breakfast at the Greek Annunciation Church on Oak Street in Brockton. This is a new location for us this year. Uh, previously, we had done at the Massasoit Conference Center. Uh, logistically, I think this is going to work out better for us this year. We're very excited about it. It's coming up on March 19th. Mm -hmm. It's going to be from 8 o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock. Uh, there's going to be, for all the, the kids who uh, are in love with the Easter Bunny, we're going to have the Easter Bunny there, so you're going to be coming in, uh, greeting, taking pictures with the Easter Bunny. It should be a great time. Uh, there's lots to do. There's going to be great food, as we always put on the great food. Mm -hmm. uh, I should say tickets are $5, which I think is very reasonable in this day and age. And for children under three, it's free. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a wonderful event that the Rotary puts on uh, year in and year out. It's our largest fundraiser of the year, and, and that's something that is extremely important to the club as a service organization. Uh, that's our main goal, is to be able to give back to our community, and, and this is one of the ways that we do that. Because Rotary doesn't keep its money. Rotary takes the money and, uh, you know, it's, it's some charities, you know, 95% of the money goes to the charity and 5% goes to the cause. Yep. It's really the other way around with, with Rotary. That's exactly it. So every dime that's donated to Rotary ends up going into the charitable fund and then it comes straight back out for charitable purposes. It's a, it's a volunteer organization which does set us apart from some of the other organizations that are uh, taking a pretty hefty fee off of what they collect. So, uh, Rotary itself uh, is an enormous organization. It has members the world over mm -hmm. uh, in uh, nearly every country on the planet, which, which is really, it, it's got a huge reach. Uh, the Rotary Foundation, I believe, is the third largest foundation in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, it has been charged with uh, st uh, stomping out polio around the world, and, and I'm pleased to say we're down to two countries, uh, Pakistan and Afghanistan, where uh, polio is still a problem, and because of some of the, uh, the fighting that goes on there, it's a little difficult, but Rotary challenges themselves to get it done, and, and we're still there every day trying to get rid of polio in the world. And we're about, um, we're about literacy, we're about pure water, all of the different yeah. good causes that you would think that an organization like ours would be involved in. Correct. Uh, Rotary's reach is everywhere from the, the very local level, and, and that's a lot of what this Pancake Breakfast is about for us. Uh, the Brockton Rotary Club has a, its own foundation in, we call it the Charitable and Education Fund. And, and what we do with the money that's raised, especially from this event, is we end up funding scholarships for Brockton kids, whether they're going to school at the Brockton High School or Southeastern or uh, Cardinal Spellman, who apply. Uh, generally, they're in the $1,200 range, and we give out 10 of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a scholarship that gets funded through this type of, uh, of an event for us. Uh, we also give out local grants. Uh, I can tell you we had a grant committee meeting just this week. Uh, I know we gave out uh, money to the, the local uh, uh, baseball mm -hmm. uh, organizations. We're trying to fund that. There's a lot of groups, the YMCA, the Boys and Girls Club. There's those types of uh, uh, town-focused mm -hmm. uh, charitable events. We're into that. So it, it's, it's nice that we can make this money and, and then spread it back out into the community and do some good with it here at home and abroad. Now, this is a real roll-up-your-sleeves effort. This is a, a whole slew of volunteers. The pancakes, we make them. They're not frozen. Correct. We, right? we, we have a, every year that's something everybody loves to do is, is get their, roll their sleeves up, get a little dirty, make some pancakes. Uh, it, it's, it's a really wonderful event. It, it's, it became our signature event, event because the Rotarians themselves were so into this. Mm -hmm. uh, you tend to get full volunteers, the, the whole club turns out for this, and, and that's, it makes it so that it's not work. It's a fun event, and then when you start seeing the community come in, you see the kids, their faces lighting up, seeing the Easter Bunny. Uh, we have the, the Brockton Symphony comes in place for us. I, I mean, there's, there's a number of things that make this event a really, really wonderful time, and, and it's, it's easy when your Rotarians are into it, it makes the entire event fly by, and we look forward to it every year. Is the face painting part of it this year? Do you know? I believe we do have face painting okay, again. Okay, because so usually that why gets involved. Some of the charities that we help, help us too. 
Correct. At, at the event. Yep, come a and, absolutely. And support it like we, you know, Symphony and things like that. Yep. So um, there were also ad sponsorships that were taken out, all the Rotarians took a business card in the thing. I, that's pretty much buttoned up at this point, right? Uh, we could still take a few more. We're always willing to take uh, okay. uh, money for, for this charity. Uh, but yes, that's what we do is uh, we actually have a placemat that we put on and, and we like to have a few different varieties with, with people's uh, business cards on them. And it's a nice way to thank the people that are supporting us and, and to get that name recognition out to those that are coming to the event to eat. There's a lot of people that don't know uh, all of the varied businesses that we have in, in this community. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a nice way to introduce them and, and to say, you know, these are the people that are helping to make this possible. Now, you're into March. This is your year as president. Correct. Um, coming to a close at the end of June, and then there'll be a new president, Brian Trukas. Correct. 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 Okay. Yep. Have you had fun? I have. It's, uh, I, I was given some advice a while back by a former president that said, just about the time you figure it out, you're done. Mm -hmm. and, and, that's, and that's what I'm finding is the case. There's so much to do. Rotary has such a large reach, and, and you can really uh, do so many good things that you really have to focus in on just a few of them and, and try to leave your uh, best imprint you can on the club. And, and hopefully that's what I have done. I try to try to not break it, leave it in a little better shape than I found it, and uh, let Brian run with it and, and do some new wonderful things. Now, how's your family taken towards you being president this year? You're a busy guy to begin with. You're a lawyer. You have a great yep. law practice. Um, but you're a really charitable guy. So has the family gotten on board all year long? My, my family's used to it at this point. Uh, Dad's always running someplace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Out for a board meeting at night, at a board meetings for breakfast. It's, it, it's, a, it's a labor of love for me. And, and I can tell you just a, a great little anecdote today. Uh, I was able to invite my mother to lunch and she hadn't been to a meeting since I, I've been president so she she came in and we had a wonderful meeting and uh, to see how proud she was of, of what I'm doing you know that really drives it home that, that you're doing the right thing if mom's happy you, you've got to be happy you can't you can't lose with that and I no. know that there are different people in the club whose parents were in the club like Bill Callahan Heather Hansen mm -hmm. folks like that um, um, my, I, I got myself in trouble once. My dad was a lion in Easton, so he comes to the Rotary meeting in the lion tie because I had to pay a fine for that. But that's okay. Yep. That's a good service organization as a well. Absolutely. You know, um, but I, I, think we, I think we do a lot. And we also named this after our former sergeant at arms, Chief Eddie Burrell. That's correct. This is the second annual. And today, um, I'm not going to date this too much, 75th anniversary of the Strand Theater fire, which correct. he was the only real survivor of. Correct. And correct. the statue has his face on it as a young man. So we remember him very fondly because he was our sergeant in arms and nothing got by him. Absolutely. He was one of the funniest men I've ever met. Uh, even to the end, he, he was coming to the meetings and he was always cracking jokes and making everybody laugh. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap it up and I'm going to say Saturday, March 19th, 8 to 11 at the uh, Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church on Oak Street, the Rotary Second Annual Chief Burrow Memorial Pancake Breakfast. Be there and be hungry. Thanks for being here, Brad. Thank you. I appreciate it, Mark. Okay. Uh, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.